this is going to be a quick demonstration of how to find the direction of magnetic fields produced by current carrying wires using the curly straight right hand rule. Okay, so what we have here are two different cases. We have the first case here on the left where we have a current that is going along a long straight wire and that current is flowing upward. So for this particular case, if we want to use the curly straight right hand rule, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my thumb in the direction of the thing that is straight. The thing that is straight in this case is the current carrying wire. And I'm going to point my thumb in the direction that the current is flowing. Now, what the curly straight rule says is that if my thumb is pointing that way, my fingers, as I kind of sweep them around, are showing you what the shape of the magnetic field is. So what I wind up having here is a magnetic field that is circular and is going around this wire. So again, curly straight tells me the direction that that's going around the wire. And since it's going around the wire, at a point over here, it's going to be coming out of the board. And at a point over here, it's going to be going into the board. So at point P here from curly straight, we can say that the direction of the magnetic field is into the board. So magnetic field into the board. Okay, now over here on the right hand side, um, we have a scenario where now we have a current carrying loop. Now in this particular case, the thing that's curling is the current carrying wire. So what we do in this particular case is we sweep our fingers in the direction that the current is going around the loop, and that tells us that the magnetic field is pointing out of the board. So in this particular case, B is coming out of the board. And that's two examples of how to use the curly straight rule.